Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Steven. Today, I am going to teach you probably the most important step in Dreamweaver. Well, one of the most. It is so important that I have decided to do this before I ate dinner. So if you hear growling in the background, don't be afraid. It's just my stomach. And what this is, is uh, defining your website. It's uh, where you have all your links in the side, like all your pages and whatnot. They're defined in the side here. And uh, if you just opened up Dreamweaver, let's just go ahead and close it. Close it. And we are going to start completely over. So on your desktop, let's make a new folder. And we'll name this, uh, let's go with root. Then inside of there, we are going to make another new folder and images. Now we did this in uh, my coding tutorial, but I decided to leave out the defining a website because I didn't want people to think that uh, you had to use Dreamweaver to create a website. So let's just go ahead and create this root with an images folder inside of it. And now open up Dreamweaver. You have my permission. It's going to take a couple of seconds. OK. So now you might have seen this already. And just clicked on a new HTML, but no. Resist. Don't click anything. You want to come up to the top, over to Site. And I don't think it's uh, viewable in the screen capture. But you want to go to the top, Site and then go to new site and in that you're going to get this pop-up menu and here you can either go to advanced if you're feeling advanced or basic for this tutorial we will stick with basic because all we are going to do is define a website to uh, to your desktop in advanced that would be more of uh, having it automatically upload to your server that's, that's a little too advanced for right now. We'll get into that later. So right now, you just want to give your site a name. We'll call it My First Site. And leave this blank. Click Next. And do you want to use server technologies? Click No. And here is where you define where your root folder is. And it's on my desktop. I'm just going to click on Root and Choose. And then click Next. And how do you want to connect to the server? You want to just click on none. FTP would be uploading it to your host, which is it's easier just to go through advanced with that. So just click on none, click next, and done. So right now, if you look on the side panel, you'll see there's a there's our main folder with images. And here you can create a new uh, PHP document. And do whatever, blah, blah, blah. Save it. And where does it want to save? It's going to automatically save to our root folder. So here you do index.php. And if you look in the side, the tree, you can see it popped up right here. Now the most important thing with defining your website is this images folder. When you have an image inside of it and you want to uh, link an image to it, you can just type slash images or you know images slash and then your picture name and it will know that this is in your root folder images is in your root folder and it doesn't get uh, all confused and is looking in the wrong spot and yeah it's it, it's really quick step to do and very very important so go ahead and give it a try if you have absolutely any questions ask me in a comment and go ahead and try and set up your host and if you have any questions with that, just leave it in a comment or send me a private message and I'll help you through that. Uh, thanks for watching and please rate, comment, subscribe. One of the three or all three would be great. It's up to you. Uh, see you next time.